What if one injection could wake up your immune system to hunt down cancer and keep it gone? Behind this revolutionary idea is Dr. Patrick Sunchiong, a surgeon, scientist, and biotech visionary who believes cancer isn't just a tumor, it's a failure of the immune system to do its job. His breakthrough, a drug called Anctiva, designed not to kill cancer directly, but to supercharge your own T-cells and natural killer cells to do it better than any chemo ever could. In this video, we break down the complex cancer breakthrough of Dr. Patrick Sunchiong, a billionaire scientist, medical doctor, and founder of multiple biotech and healthcare companies through his network's ecosystem, into clear, bite-sized insights. I did not invent this, God invented this. I realized that we have in our body a cell that God created, and it is 450 million years old, called the natural killer cell. And that cell was only discovered in, in the 1970s, and I wrote my first paper in the 1990s. And what this is, is the enlightenment of how do we activate the cell that God created in us, and why was this, does the cell exist? And this cell exists because it is here to prevent us from having cancer. This cell exists is to prevent us from getting, from dying from an infection, from sepsis, from COVID, from bacteria, from fungus. What's happened now is an enlightenment after 30 years of work of how to activate that cell with a single jab. You'll learn what his discovery means for the future of cancer treatment, followed by practical, science-backed tips from four top longevity experts on how to boost your immune system and T-cells through simple lifestyle and nutrition changes you can start today. What may be wrong with the mainstream pharmaceutical industry on cancer? For decades, the mainstream pharmaceutical industry has treated cancer as a local, isolated problem, something to be cut out, radiated, or bombarded with toxic chemicals. The dominant strategy has been to develop drugs that kill cancer cells directly, even if it means damaging healthy cells along the way. While this approach can shrink tumors temporarily, it often comes with harsh side effects, limited long-term success, and high recurrence rates. In many cases, treatments are designed to manage cancer, not cure it, creating a cycle of dependency on ongoing medication. Despite billions spent on research, the focus has largely remained on treating the tumor, rather than fixing the underlying dysfunction that allowed it to grow in the first place, the immune system itself. This outdated approach is even more concerning when we look at recent trends, cancer rates are now rising among younger populations, including people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, a demographic that was once considered low risk. Despite all the technological advances and new cancer drugs entering the market each year, the system is clearly failing to prevent or meaningfully reverse the broader trajectory of the disease. The increase in early-onset cancers raises urgent questions, are we simply managing symptoms instead of addressing root causes? Why are younger, supposedly healthier people getting cancer in the first place? These patterns suggest that the current pharmaceutical model, which largely centers on tumor destruction rather than immune system restoration, may be missing a critical piece of the puzzle. Cancer is a systemic, not localized, disease. As you age, your natural killer cells and T-cells begin to drop. That's when you actually lose the immune system that protects yourself, and that's how you also get cancer. So cancer is, in fact, a collapse of this immune system. Dr. Patrick Sunchiong believes cancer isn't just a tumor growing in one part of the body. It's a systemic failure of the immune system to recognize and eliminate abnormal cells. In his view, Treating cancer as a localized problem with surgery or chemotherapy misses the bigger issue, the body's natural defense system has broken down. The tumor is just a symptom of a deeper immune dysfunction. That's why his approach focuses on restoring immune function rather than simply killing cancer cells. His breakthrough drug, Anctiva, N803, is designed to reawaken the body's own T-cells and natural killer cells, helping them detect, attack, and remember cancer, turning the immune system itself into the treatment. Cancer treatment should be personalized. Dr. Patrick Sunchiong is a strong believer that cancer treatment should no longer rely on a one-size-fits-all model of toxic chemotherapy and radiation. He argues that traditional chemo is not only outdated but dangerously indiscriminate, killing healthy cells along with cancer cells, and often failing to produce lasting results. Instead, he champions a future built on precision medicine, where each patient's treatment is tailored to the unique genetic and immune profile of their tumor. Through genomic and proteomic profiling, doctors can understand exactly how a tumor behaves and how best to target it. But Sun Chiang goes further, he believes the real breakthrough lies not in attacking the tumor itself, but in activating the body's own immune system to do the job. His work has led to cutting-edge developments in immunotherapy, nanotechnology, and molecular biology, including the creation of natural killer cell therapies and checkpoint inhibitors through companies like Immunity Bio. We have within our body 
this immune system that's been around. Everybody understands T cells, everybody understands, but nobody ever thought about the word natural kill cells. And that's the name of the of the cell. It's the natural kill cell. It is the first responder in your body to recognize anything that's dangerous and kill it. That's the only way that mammalians actually evolved to live today. What this is really is an enlightenment of going from toxic chemotherapy radiation to really using your body itself as the protector against cancer. All designed to turn the body's natural defenses into a precision weapon against cancer. Targeted immune therapies like Anctiva are powerful, prescription-only treatments designed specifically for cancer patients. Anctiva is currently FDA-approved only for those with BCG-unresponsive non-muscle invasive bladder cancer and is not available as a general immune-boosting shot for healthy individuals. But while this cutting-edge treatment is limited to clinical use, there are still practical, natural ways we can support our immune system and activate T-cells through everyday lifestyle and nutrition choices. Now, let's hear from four leading scientists who share how everyday people can boost their T-cells and strengthen immunity through simple changes in diet and lifestyle. Dr. Rhonda Patrick, a PhD in biomedical science and founder of Found My Fitness, emphasizes that lifestyle and nutrition play a critical role in supporting T-cell health and overall immune function. She often explains that nutrients like vitamin D, zinc, magnesium, and omega-3 fatty acids are essential for T-cell activation and signaling. In particular, she highlights the importance of maintaining optimal vitamin D levels, as research shows T-cells can remain inactive in its absence. Dr. Patrick also promotes sauna use to mimic exercise-induced stress, which enhances immune surveillance and may increase the number of active T-cells. Her practical advice for everyday people includes getting regular sunlight, eating a nutrient-dense diet rich in vegetables, fatty fish, and fermented foods, doing strength and aerobic training, and practicing intermittent fasting, all of which support a resilient, well-regulated immune system. If you want to know more about Dr. Rhonda Patrick, drop a comment below and we'll come back with a simple, focused breakdown of her top teachings. Dr. David Sinclair, a Harvard geneticist and leading expert on aging, focuses on how cellular aging impacts immune function, including the decline of T-cells over time. He believes that as we age, our immune system becomes less responsive due to epigenetic changes and mitochondrial dysfunction, leading to immune exhaustion. To combat this, he promotes strategies that help slow aging at the cellular level, which in turn may preserve and rejuvenate T-cell function. His practical recommendations include intermittent fasting, regular exercise, cold exposure, and supplements like NMN, a NAD plus booster, and resveratrol, which support mitochondrial health and DNA repair. While not directly marketed as immune boosters, these interventions aim to extend health span, with the added benefit of helping the immune system stay sharp as we grow older. If you want to know more from Dr. David Sinclair, please refer to the above video after watching this one. Dr. Walter Longo, a longevity researcher and professor at USC, is best known for his work on fasting and cellular regeneration, particularly through his development of the Fasting Mimicking Diet, FMD. His research has shown that prolonged fasting, typically around 3 to 5 days, can trigger the body to clear out damaged immune cells and stimulate the production of new T-cells by activating stem cells in the bone marrow. This process helps reset the immune system and may enhance immune resilience in both aging and disease. For those who can't do full water fasts, he created the FMD, a low-calorie, plant-based protocol that mimics the effects of fasting while still allowing some food. His practical advice includes periodic fasting under supervision, sticking to a mostly plant-based Mediterranean-style diet, and avoiding excess protein from animal sources, which may accelerate aging. Dr. Jeffrey Bland, widely regarded as the father of functional medicine, focuses on how diet, environment, and lifestyle influence the immune system at a cellular level. He emphasizes that chronic inflammation, poor nutrition, and gut imbalance can weaken immune regulation and contribute to T-cell dysfunction. Rather than treating illness after it appears, his approach is about creating the conditions for immune balance and resilience. To support healthy T-cell function, Dr. Bland recommends a diverse, anti-inflammatory diet rich in phytonutrients, polyphenol, omega-3 fatty acids, and fermented foods to support the gut-immune connection. He also stresses the importance of regular movement, sleep, stress reduction, and minimizing exposure to environmental toxins. His work encourages people to see the immune system not as a battlefield, but as a finely tuned network that can be nourished and strengthened through everyday choices. In this video, we break down Dr. Patrick Sunchiong's bold new vision for cancer treatment, one that empowers the body's own immune system rather than relying solely on toxic drugs. As cancer cases rise, Especially among younger people, it's clear that the old approach isn't enough. 
but there's good news, science is pointing us towards smarter, more natural ways to fight back. With insights from leading longevity experts, you'll discover simple lifestyle shifts and nutrition strategies that can help boost your immune system and activate your T-cells, starting today.